Alright, trainers, taking adventures here, and welcome to another episode of my Sword and Shield playthrough. In my last episode, I managed to beat uh, the, gym the gym leader here at Holbury Gym, Nessa. So, right now, heading off to visit the chairman at the seafood restaurant. He asked us to uh, meet us there. Nice. We got Rose's lead card right here. I'm actually re-recording this this episode right now because there's there were some technical issues in my first ever recording of this episode. So forgive me if I uh, skip over a bit of the details here. I'm not gonna reread everyone's dialogue again. So yeah, just all right. Yeah, just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna head off right on over to the seafood restaurant here. Which is right around this way. So, just head on right up here. Taken, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, so you were invited too. Yes, I was. Alright, so there's, uh, there's, uh, there's Sonia, there's Chairman Rose right there. Holbury is a seafood town. Naturally, if one's gonna eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She, is the, she was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of the wishing stars and used the power to Dynamax Pokemon. We will have the have never been able to create Dynamax bands without her. Yep. She, there, there's still a lot to know about Dynamaxing, a lot to figure out about Dynamaxing, and how it relates to the Darkest Day and all. But I guess all that lore would be uh, revealed at the end of the playthrough, or if you, or if you have watched someone else's playthrough. So, uh, just not that, not that you should do that right now, though. Uh, you stick around here. Till the end of my playthrough, uh, actually I haven't got that far in the game yet to actually tell you the full story and even if I knew the full story I wouldn't want to spoil it for everyone. But anyway, back to the game right here. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for an information on the legends, but... Ah uh, yes. You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa is no small feat. Here is the TM as a reward. Nice, I get the TM for Retaliate. Alright, so I'm off to my next gym challenge, which would be, uh... I think it was back in Stoke, right? Yeah. Alright, mate. Here's Hop, waiting for us at the entrance of the seafood restaurant here. You got the we've got both the grass batch and the water batch by now, right? In that case we should both we're both headed for Mula Stoke and fire type gym leader Kabu. How about I share a little tip about that leader Kabu? From where I heard he's holed up at the, the Gala Mine number two and he's doing some special training. If he's in there then we can't take him on in the Motor Stoke gym even if we could zip right over there. Putting the brakes in our gym challenge. So I say we head to Galon Mine number two ourselves. Let's see what the fuss is all about. Alright, so let's head on over to Galon Mine number two, which is down this way. Ah, some shallows, which uh, are gonna be pretty darn useful for a fire type gym. So, gonna be challenging my first Shellos here, leading off with my Pikachu. Alright, it's gonna weaken down that Shellos here. Ooh, Water Pulse gets the confusion right here. Alright, I'm gonna throw a Pokeball right about now. I'm gonna be using a Great Ball for this one because. Its HP isn't really that low enough for a Pokeball and I don't want to, like, knock it out right away. Nice. Alright, 
right, everyone's leveling up right here. Shallows. Yep, I'm gonna nickname it Mudslug here because that was the name I gave to my Gastrodon. Well, in my Ultra Moon playthrough, so Mud Slug. All right, let's chat. Let's check Mud Slug's stats here. Okay, not not too bad. It's usable. All right, I'm gonna add this to my party. I'm gonna swap out. I'm gonna swap out uh, Gossifler because it's a Fire type gem up next. You know, Gossifler wouldn't do too well in a Fire type gem. Oh, oh look, it's our rival Bead. I feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in against a battle against low-level opponents. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Oh really? Oh really? If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. Naturally. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, the chairman would lose. We'll see about that, Beat. We'll we'll see about that. All right, he's leading off with a Solosis here. I'm gonna be leading off with my Pikachu. All right, it's gonna be going in with a size. Oh, not not a size strike, a Spark. Alright, that Solosis is going in with a Psy Shock Pikachu. I don't think Pikachu can tank one of those. Yep, it's an Oko. It's an Oko. Alright, it's gonna be taking on his team with my uh, with my Yampa here. My Corgi boy. With a uh, with a bite, yeah. Since it's super effective. And plus it can get to uh, oh nice! I got the KO. <laughs> Gothita. A psychic type B. Eh? I'm gonna keep in my Yampa here. Gonna gonna go in with another bite. Because uh, it's super effective again. He's gonna go with a Psy Shock, which I tanked that up pretty well. Alright. Probably have to switch up if I can. Well, yeah. Why not? Hey, why not use a potion? Why not just use a super potion? Alright. Going with another Psy Shock, I see. All right, he, yeah, did about the same amount as last time. I'm gonna go in with another bite here. Oh, he's faster than me. Ooh, which barely live on like a little bit right there. All right, it's gonna heal up here with another super potion. I know that this next Psyshock would have killed if I had not healed up there, so gonna be Ooh, that was a crit. Ooh, damn. Alright, I'm gonna go in with a uh, a bite here if I can even get it off. Successfully that is. Alright, Elizabeth goes down. Gonna send in on next. Yeet! Alright, Gothita, Gothita goes down here. A hat now, alright. I, uh, I guess I'm keeping Bond, keeping Bond in here.
it's not every day that it gets battle you, so I may as well try out this move. Psybeam! Ooh, interesting! Alright, so I'm gonna go in with another Water Pulse. I would definitely outspeed his Hatana and go for the kill. Alright, he's going in with a Ponyta, which I can still stay in on. Alright, it's gonna go for a Water Pulse on this Ponyta. Ooh, nice, to get the confusion as well. Oh man, he broke through the confusion with a confusion of his own. And that was a crit as well. Don't confuse yourself. I'm gonna go in with another Water Pulse here. Hopefully it gets a crit or a high roll or something. Oh, yeet, 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 yeet. Yeet! Yeet! I have just defeated Deed. Yeet! Ah, oh, pardon me. It seems I, t <laughs> I must take back my words. You're not weak. You just lack talent. We'll see about that, Deed. We'll see about that. Alright, can we get Deed's lead card here? Now, where shall I go next to collect Wishing Stars? Alright, so... Let's head off right now. Unfortunately, we do have to battle this trainer right here. This mine has tons of trainers as well, so... This is just our first battle here. Alright, so I'm probably gonna switch out here on this uh, car call. Gonna be taking this opportunity to heal up Bond here. Alright, Rapid Spin. At least he didn't go for a rock type move right there. Car call speed rose. I'm gonna be swapping out to my to Bond here. Alright, Karkul is going in for a smackdown here, which isn't going to be an issue because I know I can kill it with a water pulse. Uh, oh, Alright trainers, let's continue with our adventure here. Let's move along, right along Gallimine too. I'm going to scoot around here to avoid this trainer. Nice, a Grip Claw. Alright, oh, probably don't want to step on that. Alright, looks like we have an encounter with Team Yul here. Excuse me mate, sorry to bother you. You wanted the, them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey, but that's really something. I love a battle against a trainer like you. Well, look at you, Tegan. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll be showing up, Lee. <laughs> You'll be showing up. <laughs> You're gonna be showing up, Lee, pretty soon. Wow. Oi, chug on, mate. You can't. Can't you, can't you see? I, lo I love how British these these things are. The, their dialogue are. All right. So. It looks like we're going up, going for a battle here against two Team Yellow Grunts. All right, let's do this, Hop. Let's do this. Yeet. Alright, those two Team Yolgrunts sent out a Linoon and a Thievul here. I'm gonna be leading off with my uh, with my Corvus Squire here. 
going for a pluck against the uh, Lainu. Ooh, Night Slash, eh? And Snarl as well, hitting the both of us here, lowering my spit attack, which is not gonna matter here because I'm a physical attacker. Alright, I'm going in with my pluck here on the Lainu. Ooh, using double kick also on the Lainu, four times super effective here. Ooh, the line is just barely hanging on right there. Gonna switch out into uh Alright, I'm not gonna Alright, not now. Probably not now. I'm gonna go into uh I'm gonna go pluck on the P4. On that P4. Alright. The Wulu's gonna go uh I mean uh Thievol's gonna quick attack on Wulu. She doesn't really do that much. Really, is going to use a double kick on the Thievil. Thought he'll want to go for the Lainu. Alright. Alright, gonna get a... Uh, gonna get another pick. I mean, a pluck on the Lainu in here. Gonna kill it off. Really, unfortunately, gets taken out by a Night Slash from, uh, from Lainu in here. Thievil going in for a nasty plot. Alright, Pluck takes out Lainoon. Nice! Everyone's leveling up right now. Alright, Pancham. Alright, he sends out that Team Yolgrunt sends out a Pancham on his end, which I can safely deal with uh, because, yeah, because of Pluck. Nice. Managed to uh Harps Call the Square manages to take out the Thievor. Alright, so the Pansion goes for low kick. Oh, was it that low sweep? But uh, I wasn't really paying attention there. Alright, that team male grunt going in with the lie part here. Alright, so I'm gonna use pluck on that lie part. Hopefully Hops, uh, ho hopefully Hops, Call the Squire knows to target the Pancham with, well, with Peck in that case. Ooh, he's, he's targeting the, the Lipard, eh? Ooh, Pancham go Pancham's going for workup, increasing its attack and special attack. So probably gonna want to take out the Pancham as quickly as I can. Alright, all right. Hops, Corvus Square are going to take a uh, take an attack from oh, Lipard using Fury Swipes. <laughs> He's going to use a Fury attack of his own which uh, hits four times, enough for me to come in and KO with a Pluck. Alright, I'm now gonna use another pluck here on the uh, on the uh, uh, on that live part. Hops Culver Squire using Leah, lowering the defense, allowing my pluck to do even more than usual, and this time it goes for the KO. Nice. Are you gonna yell at us because we're up and lost? If I used the horn, maybe I had a better chance of winning. Alright. That mugs the champion's little brother. This is what happens when your older brother's not useless. I know we're team L, but we'll leave quietly when we're beaten. Nice one taken. That's my rival for you. Now then, where would Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's further in. Alright, so let's just be careful. Ooh, a wild dreadnought. That's, that's gonna be pretty darn useful for the gym, the fire type gym later on. A wimpod. Okay, that that that's pretty useful, but uh, I'm not gonna bother with it for now.
please. Ooh, glistening spot right there. There I go, soft sand. Nice. Ooh, gonna avoid the crow gunk. Just run from the crow gunk. All right. Ooh, another trainer battle right here. All right, he's going with a Troba. Gonna let that swap out right now, cause uh, yeah. He has a super duper effective move here. Gonna wanna swap out to Bond. Alright. That uh that Troba is gonna use Dig. Which uh unfortunately I can't do very much right now, so I'm just gonna use Growl. Uh I'm faster than a Troba anyway, so Nothing's gonna matter, none of my attacks are gonna matter. At this point I can safely go in for a water pulse here, since I definitely outspeed. Nice. That trouble is dead. Ooh, Onyx. Nice. Four times super effective to water. Should be in the uh, pretty safe range to go for an Go for the Oko. Nice. What incredible power gives us the one since flying. Right, going to want to avoid these stun fists here. Ah, looks like that's the gym leader Kabu here. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yell, but I must say, it's, unfor it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a car calls hard work. We weren't getting in the way, we were just trying to cheer it on. Still, he did a number on the step, uh, a number on on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scarp and, and give a morale boost out elsewhere. Cheering is one thing, but that shouldn't get in the way of honest work. That man, Kabu, that's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. Ah, you and you are the trainers endorsed by Leon, Hop and Tegan, am I right? I'm just training right up until uh, until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challenges. I specialize in fire type Pokemon and the water type Pokemon in Galamine number 2 are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight out and you just, just go straight out of this mine and you'll reach Motorstoke. Get a good rest of the hotel and meet Make sure you're both in top condition. Come on, Karko. Time for you to head home. Alright. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. Ugh. I think that was a pun right there. Pretty good pun indeed. Alright, looks like we'll be on fire when we face Kabu in the, ch in, in the gym challenge. That car call from before. I guess it must have been on the job. You know more about poker charms by now, right? Well, for the, for the benefit of those who don't know, looks like there's no helping it. In that case, sit down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can remember a thing about what Lee had written down in his old notebooks. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take Poke Jobs from the Royal Tommy at any Pokemon Center, so give it a look sometime. Alright, let's head on over to Motostoke and have a little bit of rest at the uh, Buddy Drop-In. 
Alright, still want to be uh, encountering a throw in the middle of our playthrough. So, I'm going to be heading right out of this encounter spot. And let's make our way to Moyo's Choke, and then we will uh, just call it a night. Nice, three great balls. Alright, so it looks like we are. Uh, we have to. Oh, train a battle, train a battle, yeah, that's what I was about to say. We have to face this guy in a train a battle before we head on over to Moyo's Choke. Alright, it's gonna go in with a spark here. Ooh, that bite. No, uh, no flinch. And no flinch, fortunately, because uh, I'm faster. The uh, lowering my defense stat, eh? Alright, I'm probably gonna oh, like uh, one, just one shot the guy with another spark. Yeet. Yeet, yeet. Just that one Pokemon right there. Ooh, glistening spot. Genius feather. Nice. Ooh, crap. Why do I see so many glistening spots? Is this feather nice? There's one right there. Missile feather. Nice. Alright, here we are at Moto Stoke right now. Uh, oh, and there, there's the Badu drop in. So yeah, that's uh, where we're gonna call it for the for the night. And yeah, this has been Taken Adventures. You have just watched another episode of my Sword and Shield playthroughs. I'm gonna be signing off right now. Peace out, and I shall see you in one of my next playthrough videos.